I've done um, the ten, uh, the ninth. I'm on the tenth row. I'm about to do the tenth row. So this is what the middle part is coming out looking like. Looks pretty cool, hey? And the mustard is popping. Okay, so ten uh, row ten of our garter stitch. This is the final row before we get on with our decreases. So we work. The 35 stitches in gutter stitch all of them so it's gutter stitch throughout so the sequence of um, the decreases is the same yes the sequence of the increases um, will be alternating um, between two decreases and one decrease in our rows as we work our mask so let's get done with this row then we'll start our decreases so this project is um, um it's, um it's a pretty easy project um you can work this mask in um, in our tops <laughs> that's for me with my speed so in our tops you should be done um, so it's a pretty cool project to work with if you like doing small projects like me. I don't like working on big projects. So there we go. We're done with the 10 rows. So now we're back to the gutter and the stocking it. So with our decreases. So the sequence is like this. We The last increase was two increases. So we're going to start with Two decreases right it is to match what we did on the side because this is symmetrical it's pretty symmetrical not very but it's pretty symmetrical so what we did on this side we do to the other side we do the opposite to the other side so it comes out looking very symmetrical like in this one so we're doing two decreases on this row right so our decreases will be doing the SSKs and the knit two together so for this side we do the SSK so we knit one we knit two then we slip the next two stitches from the left needle to the right needle through the front loop so slip one then the slip two. So this is called slipping pearlwise. So when a pattern tells you to slip stitches pearlwise, this is how you do it through the front loop. If it's knitwise, you slip it through the back loop like that. So we're slipping pearlwise. So one, two, then we take our left needle, we we'll slip it through the two stitches pearlwise as well, through the through the front like that then we knit the two stitches together so that's our ssk that's our first decrease so the two stitches have become one so we're going to knit to the end and sorry not to the end until we've got four stitches left on the left, on the left needle so we knit throughout until i have four stitches left on my left needle then we do the second decrease so we need to knit knit we do the stitches per knit wise we attacking them knit wise so this is where the second part of the stocking knit begins so let's get to the last four stitches then we work our second decrease so this is it four stitches remaining so we're going to knit these two together so i'm going to insert my needle through the two stitches and then knit them together knit two together to get one then we knit the remaining two stitches okay right the first two decreases done now we're back to knitting the first four working the first four and the last four in gutter stitch so it's one 
two, three, four, yarn to the front, then we're doing our purl until the last four stitches. So we're purling these, purl, 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 until we have the last four stitches. So when we started our decreases, we had um, 35 stitches. So since I decreased the last row by two stitches, that means I have 33 stitches remaining. So the goal is to decrease until we get to 18 stitches like we had at the beginning. So I guess you get um, the symmetry that I was talking about, that we're doing the opposite and we're going back to 18 stitches. So we're purling, purling until we've got our four stitches remaining, then we work them the garter way. So let's purl, purl, purl. I'm sure by the time I'm done with this video, my speed will be much better. This is a lot of practice, guys. So we need four stitches remaining. That's five. So the last one. And then our yarn goes to the back. We work these the gut away. Knit twice. Right, so I've got 33 stitches remaining. So, like I said, the same sequence that we followed um, with the increases. So, the last time we decreased, we decreased by two stitches. So, now we're going to do one. Just one decrease this time around. And the next time two. And the next time one. So, that's basically the sequence or the iteration, whatever you choose to call it, that we're following. So, I need the first two. Then I slip pearlwise one. I slip pearlwise two. Then I knit them together, slip my needle through the front, SSK done, so 32 stitches remaining and we're knitting those. Now I have 32 down from 35, okay. So we're knitting. Knitting up that two stitches right through to the end. So we're just going to follow that same um the same sequence um of two one two one two one decreases right until we get down to eighteen stitches. So there is nothing much to this pattern, as you can see. It's pretty simple. And you get to master the knit front, um, the, the, the type of increase and the knit through the front and the back. And you get to master the SSK and you master the knit two together. So at the back, it's knit four, then pearl until you get to the last four stitches knit four pearl now i'm on my pearls the much dreaded pearls <laughs> i dread the stitch slows me down i'm not very patient so we do the pearl right until we get to the last four stitches so that's what that's what you have to remember about this pattern, um, working the first four in the last four in gutter stitch on your on the wrong side of your work, and um, the sequence of the increases and the decreases. That's all there is to this pattern. So I'm getting better with this. I'm doing much better. Don't hate, guys. <laughs> The speed is much better. So up to the up to four stitches. Yay. Um so yarn at the back, then we're working the last four knit twice. Cut a stitch at the edge. Um um some I've seen some that um have um the set stitch edge. 
um, but I love gutter. So the last row we did one decrease. So this row we're doing two decreases. So it's one, it's two, then we as a skein slip one, slip two. We're knitting them together that way. Right. Then we're knitting until we get to the last four stitches to do the other decrease. So we follow our sequence, our sequence of decreases right until we get to 18 stitches again. So when you get to 18 stitches, you know you're almost done with your mask. When you get to 18 stitches, you're just doing the 14 rows of cut a stitch then all that's done is left that's left to do is um to sew on your elastic bands um others prefer to crochet chains but i think they're pretty uncomfortable at the back of the ear so i've got my four stitches remaining so i'm going to do my knit two together so that's my second decrease for this row so I'm knitting these two stitches together. There you have it. Then I'm knitting the last two. So this is the sequence that we're going to be following. So I'll meet you up when we're done at done with the decreases when you're down to 18 stitches. Okay. So I'm down to 20 stitches. So I'm going to do the I'm going to work the last decrease. Before I go to my gutter stitch, the 14 rows of my gutter stitch. So, this is my last decrease. So, I'm going to decrease twice in this row. So, we're going to knit the first two stitches one, two, then we do our SSK, slip one. Slip two, pull wise, then we knit together. So now we've got 19 stitches remaining. So we're going to do one more decrease at the end. So I'm knitting these until I've got four stitches remaining on my knitting needle, my left knitting needle. All right. Then um, what looks like the complex part of this mask is pretty much done we're going to start with the garter stitch eight. so now i've got four stitches remaining so i'm going to need these two together knit wise we need those two together then our second decrease is done so now i've got 18 stitches left on my knitting needle so we're going to do the back like we've been doing all along so we're knitting four at the beginning so we're doing this working this four in gutter so it's four then we're going to purl until we've got four stitches remaining on our knitting needle the left one that is so we're purling for the last time thank god <laughs> all right so one more to go yay and we're doing the gutter four all right so now that that's out of the way we're doing um 14 rows like here of that a stitch then we will reach a bind off so it's 14 rows of that a stitch and this the make sure you've got 18 stitches on your needle please count them for 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so let's cut a stitch throughout. That was the first row. So now I'm row number two. I've got to stitch until I've got 14 rows. Then on the I bind off the 15th on the 15th row. So that's got to stitch throughout. Then working it neat wise. All right. So that's the second row done. I'll meet you up, guys, when um, when I'm done with the 14 rows. I'll meet you up at the 14th row. So now I'm at um, row 14, which is the final row. So I'm going to work that in gutter stitch. Then we're going to do the bind off row. So we're going to use the standard bind off, um, which is the tight one, not the stretchy one. Um, next, um, my next video will be on how to do the two different types of bind off. That is the stretchy one and the tight one. So for this mask, we need the tight bind off, not the stretchy one. So this is row 14, almost done. Row 14. Need all right, so now we're on the bind off row. So we bind off our work with two stitches. Then slip that one over, slip this one over, and drop it. So look out for my next videos when I show you how to bind off your work. If you're an absolute beginner so when binding off it's very important to keep your working yarn tight so as to get the neat bound of edge like that one so from here on we're going to sew on our elastic bands then our mask is pretty much done. So we continue with the bind off. Then we're done with our mask. Three stitches remaining. Um, that was um, three stitches remaining, then it was two, and then it was one. Okay, so we're going to pull a stitch open. Then I'm going to cut off the yarn pretty close because I'm not going to be using it to sew. So I'm going to slip this into the stitch, through the stitch, just to secure it. Then our mask is done. There you've got it. Nice. With the lovely mustard color. So now I'm going to cut this ends, but I like to do this just to secure it. Just another knot, just one more. So I cut it off here. So that is why I love using a thread cutter because you can cut um, pretty close to your work, really, really close to your work without doing any harm. So 
cutting that off and that one off so this is our mask it's done so now we're going to sew on um the um, elastic bands I've got them right here so we're going to sew them on the inside on the wrong side of our work here and there and we'll do the same the other side here and there so i'll meet you up guys when i'm done with the sewing right so there we are guys our mask is done with the elastic thing is <laughs> on it so this is a project that you can do in just an hour so there you go guys this is done so please like my video subscribe to my channel and please ask your friends to come and watch my videos so you can learn how to knit and let's have fun okay so look out for I'll watch out for my next videos um, i'll show you how to bind off to do the sun bind off and the stretchy bind off for your socks for your hats okay all right so thank you for joining me guys please come back all right have fun